welcome to the Shelly Studio and another video for the CAC Fantasy Art Art Crawl. Um, this time I am doing a pen and watercolor technique. Um, I tried it once last week and um, had a lot of fun and so I decided I would do a mermaid. I did draw it out in pencil first and now I'm just going with a fine point sharpie. Um, I I didn't test this particular Sharpie, but I've tested fine point Sharpies in the past and um, they do pretty good when you put watercolor over the top. This does blur a little bit, but it's so minor you don't see it. Um, I'm not really good with faces and figures, I um, need to practice more. So this girl, you're only going to see her hair and maybe her arms. <laughs> It was a little bit different mermaid. I was looking at mermaids online and I I saw one that was a little bit more scaly and had more fins going on. And I thought that was kind of interesting, so I thought I would try it. That's basically what I'm doing here is outlining our little mermaid. And this is going to be a bookmark, by the way. I decided it needed um, something else so um, after I give it more hair I'm gonna give it a border here and I couldn't think of anything I didn't have a lot of space so it's just gonna be circles and lines Now I'm just erasing the pencil um, drawing that was underneath. Sorry, I need a new table. Um, it's my goal one of these days is to get a real table instead of a TV tray. It's just a little teeny table that I'm using right now. I don't have a lot of space on it. So now I'm getting my watercolor set up. So I'm mixing up some green. Can't see it very well because it is off to the side. I tried to blow it up so you could see the drawing a little bit better. Um, it's some green and blue, sort of a, just to give it a watery kind of background. And we're just gonna go around the outside of the mermaid and the inside of that little border we made. trying to do it quickly because I want it to stay kind of wet for the next thing we're going to do to it. I didn't feel like I was quite working fast enough. But it was hard getting around all of her hair and her arms and everything and not going over the top of it too much. So now I'm taking some isopropyl alcohol and just dabbing it on the watercolor. I'm hoping this will make it look like there's bubbles in the water. Um, this is a technique I saw Cat Hand do in her mixed media morsels. And um, she did it with watered down acrylic paint. But it works with watercolor too. You just dab it on there and the color goes away from the drop. And so you get little nice little circles going. And now I waited for that to dry, and so now I'm going to do her hair, and I'm just using a little bit of brown, and I go in with a little bit of yellow, I'm trying to make her kind of a blondish brown haired mermaid. I was really kind of going trying to go for um, complementary, like her body and her hair, 
kind of complementary to the blue-green color uh, so that she would pop out a bit. So that's the reason between, behind her hair color and the color of her fin. Fins. Legs. Tail. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. So this is a red-orange mixture that I'm uh, putting on right now. I'm just basically just trying to stay in the lines and not go over her hair. And I do one coat to make sure I get color everywhere. I think I still miss and then um, I dabbed some red but I decided I wanted more orange so I'm grabbing some orange get a lot more peanut on there and then we're gonna give her a scaly texture Just basically dotting everywhere, emphasizing the what would those be? The ridges in her fins. I'll try to create a little shading um, so you can see that they're a little bit more flowing. They look kind of stiff. And now uh, I mixed a little bit of my brown and some yellow to try and give her some a skin tone on her arms. And now I believe I'm mixing a darker blue with the green give it a stronger turquoise color um, and then I go around the edge of the bookmark it um, once I go around it seemed like it was the same color um, so I do give it two coats to make it darker so it looks different from the inside See how it looks the same? So we're going to give it another coat and just to darken it. And there we go! We've got a mermaid. Mermaid bookmark. Oh, I guess I had to touch something up there. Oh no, I signed my name! <laughs> well, I hope you liked that. Um, if you did, please hit like. Um, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.